come and spend 24 hours with me over the Singapore Grand Prix weekend. We are about to head to a very exciting event, so let's go get ready. I love getting ready. Sometimes it's even better than going. Tonight we are hosting two panels at a charity gala dinner here in Singapore. It's, it's a gala for the Race Against Dementia, so one of them is with its founder and three-time world champion Sir Jackie Stewart. And one of the panels is with two of the F1 Academy drivers, Abby Pulling and Aurelia Nobles. It's time to choose our dress for the evening. So the gala is in collaboration with an incredible Kiwi designer called Tessa Lon. Her brand is called Lon Tessa. And we went to a fitting earlier today and this is the dress I have as one of the options. I'm a sucker for a black dress. I feel my most confident in black and red. So we have this, it's kind of like a suit, which I also really like. Okay, go. Okay. Okay, here's number two. I think we're gonna go for this one just because it fits a little bit. It actually fits a little too well. <laughs> Ooh. Such a glamorous life I live. It's out of shot. My right room now. service. <laughs> This is my other product that I use. How has F1 helped your race against dementia? I always try and in my head like block the questions together. So I'm like, okay, after these three questions about this, then there's one standout question, and then you have to ask two more, and then there's one that stands out, and then there's three for all of them. That's like kind of how I try and think about it in my own head. Thank you so much. Hello. I've not seen myself yet. I'm excited. Are we chit chatting? We're chit chatting. Oh, are we? We're going to chit and chat. Yeah. We're chitting and chatting? Yeah. We're all good to go. This is the third hairstyle. <laughs> Number three. Number three. Okay. Our championship leader from Road and Road Sport, Miss Abby Pulling, and from ART Grand Prix, Aurelia Noble. Give them a warm welcome, everyone. Hello, you gorgeous girls. You're looking amazing. Thank How you very are much. you? Yeah, no, happy to be here. It's uh, an amazing venue. Love the circuit. Aurelia is the youngest driver, 17 years old, and these girls are really the future of motorsport, the future of F1. Right. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're in the car tonight, so I can't enjoy it to the full extent. How does that, being part of that team, what do they kind of give you tangibly to, to make you stronger out on track? What are the skills that you're learning from the teams? I think the big thing is making us all uh, a well-rounded driver. I'm so proud of you both, so thank you so much. Where are you thank you. <laughs> you know, F1 is a problem-solving sport, right? If there's a I mean, you said it better than anyone else. If there's a problem on Wednesday, it's solved by the Saturday. And I think there's so many parallels between medical research and the world of F1. So why have you chosen F1 to help with your race against dementia? They kind of chose us. So we are one of the uh, F1 uh, official charities. We can't wait for normal business practice to get a cure for dementia. It has to be faster. That's a wrap. We have finished both panels. I mean, the F1 Academy girls are so easy to talk to. Um, and to just kind of share a little bit more about their story for everyone who may be new to F1 Academy was really good. It's so good. I feel like a big weight's been lifted off my shoulders now. There was a full room, amazing event. So yeah, now I want to go get some food. <laughs> I hope you all slept well. It's race day today and we are about to head to the track for a few interviews and then we're also going to watch the race on the pit wall. So let's go. I'm okay. Thank you. Matcha is secured. <laughs> Thing is, 
see with me, when I like something, I'll get it every, I've got this every single day. <laughs> After two years in F1 Academy, the girls sadly have to move on. So Lola, you've had your two years in F1 Academy yeah. now, right? So are you looking forward to your next chapter? Can you share anything with us about what you'll be up to next year? Well, I already started GT this year besides yes. F1 Academy. So I think I will uh, keep going in that direction. Uh, if there is any opportunity in single seater, of course I will take it because yeah. it's been my dream since I'm a, a little girl. Yeah, I'll be so sad to see you go. Good luck today. Thank you Thank so you much. So much. Thank you. Being formed. There's no pit stops in F1 Academy, so there's going to be no cars coming through here. Yeah. 